Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and in this quick tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at extraction, and extracting uh, extra pieces off of models, etc. Right now, I've got this particular caricaturized basketball player, but I'm thinking for this particular piece, we can look at maybe creating some arm cuffs or something. So let's go ahead and get to our main torso. We're going to go ahead and hide everything. All right, so this is the, the main model. If I hit Shift F, you can see uh, not only the wireframe or the polyframe of the model, but you can see the different poly groups. So I can grab a piece and hide the pants, or I can Control Shift, click in the background, bring the pants back. In this case, I guess we could just hide the pants. And what we're looking to do for this, Shift F to turn off the polyframe, is we're going to create like maybe an armband or something that we can then turn around and work some modeling on. So we can just hold down our control key and create a line for masking. Okay, I'm just going to go down to about there. And of course I have symmetry on, which is X, so that makes it easy. So what I'm doing on one side is automatically duplicated to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and just clean that up a little bit. Let's even that out. We can hit S and pull our draw size down a little bit. So we're going to even it up a little. Actually, we'll scale that up a little and hold down that. There we go. All right, that's off a little bit. Let's even that out a little. And we're that's a little off, so we're just going to grab that. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our masking. If we go to our masking, we can blur the mask or we can sharpen the mask. In this case, let's go ahead and do a sharpen mask. So it's nice, it's clean, it's a nice clean cut. We want to make sure that's going to be there. All right, we can go ahead and minimize that. And now to extract, in the bottom of our subtool palette, this is our subtool palette here, in the bottom there's this button right here that says extract. Okay, now there's a button for uh, smoothing the edges for the extracting, and there's a button for smoothing the surface. And then this is how thick the extraction is going to be. And I think the default is 0 0.002, I believe, is the default uh, in in ZBrush. But if we do it with that, it's going to be really, really thin. But we'll go ahead and do that just so you guys can see it. We'll just hit the Extract button. As you can see, we just got uh, a red wax material on the new piece. If we scroll down here, see this new piece, Extract? If I if I click on it, I hide everything else. This is our new extraction. This is the piece that we just got. All right. So it took a copy of that forearm on both sides and basically created a new subtool for us. So we can turn around and sculpt details and do what we need to do with it. We can go ahead and clear the mask by just control and create, creating a rectangle in the background that clears our mask out. Okay. We can go ahead and look to now detail this. We can subdivide it. Right now, if I, min if I open up the viewport, we can see we're at 73,000 th 73, polygons. So that's not a whole lot. Uh, it, it is for basic shapes and everything, but if we're going to get into fine details, obviously we'll want more, uh, more details. We go right for hitting Control D. We're now up to 295,000 polygons. That's right there. And it still has retained that edge very, very nicely. It's a very clean, clean edge. Okay. If we hit Shift uh, F to check out the um, uh, polyframe and our poly groups, you can see it actually has grouped them out. The edges get uh, the flat edges get one group, and then this interior edge ends up technically being another group, and then this edge is another group. So we can do Control Shift. And there you go. I have just the outer ring of that selection. Now I grabbed it on both sides again because I'm mirroring everything. So what I'm doing on one side, it's being done on the other. 
or actually, I'm sorry, in this case, because we did, we were mirroring, it means whatever I'm clicking on one side is masked out on that side to begin with, because it is one poly group. We can now do a control shift, a control shift and drag, go to our poly groups if necessary. If we wanted to do something, you know, completely different, we do a group visible, and now when we unhide, we've got two different sleeves, sleeve color, uh, colors. So we can work independently or together on this particular um, mesh, all right? Shift F to turn the poly frame off. Let's go ahead and look at our uh, original mesh that we started with. I'm going to turn off the extract. As you can see, we're still masked. It still keeps the mask because, you know, it doesn't know what we want to do with it. So we can just clear the mask out by Control Shift and clearing in the background, all right? With our extracted pieces, we can take a look at, well, okay, let's, I don't know, for this one, let's do a control click on it, which got on both sides. Oops, but it didn't because we've now cleaned that out. Let's do that. There we go. All right, so we have two exteriors now, only the exteriors. And I want to go ahead and add in like maybe um, a couple of spikes or spike areas. So I'm going to just do control and I'm creating two masks. I'm inverting that. And now I'll go ahead and go to my snake hook brush. And I'm just going to pull and extract, pull and extract. Okay. Let's go ahead and unhide everything. Okay, so as you can see, very quick and easy, we can turn around and create gauntlets or whatnot based on just doing a quick extract. But now this was again really, really close to the skin. So I do want to go ahead and delete that. And let's go back and we're going to, I want to go ahead and mask another section. Now we can do this a couple different ways uh, to do this. We can actually angle this model and I can hold down my control key and then just draw and drag a rectangle. Okay. That does it a very quick, clean uh, masking but it is done based on what my particular my particular projection was at the time that's that's why some of this is actually in there um, etc but that's okay I just want to turn on and have this here so I can show you what we can do with this we can now go to our extract now we know what thin works like so let's try and do something just a little bit thicker we'll point zero say nine actually no let's go point point zero three we'll say Okay, there you go. If you needed to make armor for this guy, that's really thick armor. Okay, don't want it that thick, that's fine. We'll just go back up and we can create something a little bit thinner. Let's say 0 0.0 or maybe thicker, let's see. Seven, even thicker armor. <laughs> so you can kind of go from there. All right, and the beauty, beauty of it is, again, we can we can... Uh, work with that and create completely new pieces based on that. 0 0.01, let's go for that. Okay, that's a little bit nicer. That's a little bit nicer for a piece. The fun thing is, is we can, again, uh, once we're on our extract, we can clear the mask and I'll just click on the outside that gives us both outsides. The same way we did before, I'm going to go ahead and do a drag rectangle for a masking. Okay. Oops. Let's make sure we have our symmetry on, which is X. Let's go ahead and do another quick mask. Right there. And now from this, I can actually go down to deformation, say, and I can actually inflate it a little bit give them cuffs. Okay, can clear that. And once we unhide everything, there you go. Now we have some armor type with cuffs that we can then add to in detail, etc, etc, etc. The really wonderful thing about this extraction, of course, this is a bit of a rush job, but you know, you get the idea. But the nice thing is, is I can then, let's say, go in and mask something like this. Let's make sure it's on both sides, as it is. And I can then go ahead and do another extraction. And there we go. And I can then turn around and work on that extraction. 
I can go back to our, our original extraction piece and clear that mask. But I can now go down to the new piece, clear the mask. And it actually has two pieces because I actually masked and we had an interior. It actually gave us uh, it on both, both inside and outside. And, and that's an easy fix. It's not a big deal. But just, that's just to show you that we can turn around and do extractions of extractions and add on and add on and add on as we need to working on a model. You don't have to have the geometry built before you turn around and uh, do an extraction. You can just add extraction for whatever. We can do the same thing with creating like a jaw piece for him in metal or whatever. It's whatever you want to be able to do. Just requires a little bit of masking and then adjusting your extract button and the thicknesses on it. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, this has been Stephen G. Wells for 3dmotive.com. I hope you guys had fun.